Hi everyone, welcome back to Spiritual Growth Tarot. I'm Denise and today is Friday, December 18th and I am going to dive into, uh, <laughs> oh my goodness, uh, this news that's come out that, uh, you know, there's an article from Politico who first reported these emails where uh, Trump's former uh, health and human services director, uh, Paul Alexander, called for herd immunity, saying we want them infected. So I, I want to know what the, what the repercussions are going to be for Trump and Pence. So I'm going to do it separately for each one of them. And then I have some yes and no questions at the end about, uh, you know, if they'll be charged with uh, crimes against humanity. So, um, so hang in there with me till the end. I'll try to try to make this as uh, you know concise and succinct as possible. So this deck has been shuffled for Donald John Trump. So what will be the repercussions on Donald John Trump? Okay, well, so just using the tarot, I have, let's see, let me move this over here. I have so many decks shuffled, I don't have much spare room. Okay, so diving into the tarot before I use the kipper, I have the kipper shuffled to go with that, or oh, actually for both of them. So the theme is strength or not. Uh, so I think this is going to be the strength of the law coming down on him because we have the uh, justice card reversed. So this has been the repercussions to him is that there is a, an incredible amount of you know injustice. This card is, is really... Uh, challenging. It, it shows uh, legal issues will be coming down on him. So the strength of legal issues. I'm going to keep referring back to this as the theme card. So this, because that's the way I intended when I was thinking about which spread. Uh, so anyway, so legal issues, of course. Uh, you know, I mean, it's very, very unfair. It's very, uh, you know, corrupted uh, because of the fact that they they didn't care. They didn't care. You know, I mean, Sweden found out that herd immunity didn't work. And, you know, they wanted everybody that is, uh, you know, younger age. They, I mean, they just wanted everybody to get it, even babies. Babies, children, and younger people. I mean, my God, what the... Uh, it's just, it's unfathomable to me. So, when it comes to karma, <clears throat> the justice reversed is bad, bad, bad karma. So, that's the repercussion to him, but also it is legal issues in this, this lifetime. Okay, so, moving forward with the star reversed, well... He's got his fame the way that, you know, but not the way he wants it. I mean, he's being, he's of course, like famous for all the wrong reasons. Um, this is a card of despair and losing hope. So the repercussions on him are for him to be depressed and to be in great despair. It's, it's you know, the dark night of the soul. It has to do with uh, being rejected. And I'm, um, you know, losing, basically like losing his, his path in life, which, of course, you know, he, he never has. He never has gone in the right direction. I've done so many readings on him to know that that's the case. Uh, okay, so, especially that last one on his, uh, you know, his karma and this, you know, this lifetime and then next lifetime. That one was a mind blower for me. So, so anyway, it's not, it's not going to be good for him. And 
Uh, with the Queen of Cups, this is what is most sacred to every family <laughs> on the planet. Uh, so this is more than just the United States of America. This is, you know, the family unit on the planet. And and so that's that that's a huge repercussion. I think that this this also has to do with um um you know the the camps, the family separations at the border camps. So that's this is coming down on him. The emotional intelligence of every human being on the planet is now looking at him and and thinking what in the world what in the world were you guys thinking? Now, of course, Paul Alexander, he's, he doesn't, you know, he doesn't work for Health and Human, Human Services anymore. So he, he resigned at some point or got fired. I forget. Who knows? It's, you, you never know the truth with these guys because Trump will fire him over Twitter and the guy will say he resigned and you never know which was true. Um, but basically, he's not there anymore. So I don't think it's going to come down on him. But maybe it could. Maybe legally it could. Um, you know, we'll we'll see about that in the future. I, di I didn't really feel called to read just on him. This is about Trump, and the next one's going to be about Pence. So the next repercussion on Trump with the Nine of Cups reversed, that is going to be him uh, feeling. I think it's going to bring in more financial loss and him having more reason to, you know, be addicted. I think his, you know, like feelings of, are you guys, I mean, I, I don't care what the guy says, I think he drinks. And even though Mary Trump says he doesn't drink, he just drinks Coke, I, whatever, I think the guy drinks. And because an addict is an addict, and when one thing doesn't work and it's not there close enough, by you'll grab whatever is and um alcohol is everywhere you know it's just ubiquitous it's just it's it's everywhere so um this is a card of you know alcohol addictions but also other you know any other kind of addiction so the repercussions onto him it's going to drive him further into his addiction uh further into his own self-hatred and further into financial loss. So that sounds to me like a lawsuit. These two cards together. Okay, so let me use the, the, the kipper I already have shuffled here. Let's see what we get with, with the kipper. <sighs> wow. Okay, the imprisonment card. Because, his, because of his reputation and who he's gotten in bed with, the partnerships. So it's going to cause big change. But it's going to take quite some time. Well, okay, so, so the imprisonment card is pretty easy to understand, right? I mean, it's, um, let me make sure there's room here for the closed captioning. Okay, so, so the imprisonment card uh, is uh, definitely being, if it's not locked up, I mean, the image on this card is, you know, definitely locked up, but it's also the card of punishment of any kind, restriction of any kind, separation of any kind, um, and it's, you know, imprisonment because it's the, the card of, like, large buildings. It, it's, it's like the tower in the, in the, in the Lunamon where, where it can be like any large structure where a person's confined, sometimes confined and isolated. Definitely, we can say, legal, a legal issue that will very possibly get him locked up. And with uh, his despair and hopelessness, on, on his uh, honor, well, we're going to see his uh, overblown ego and what he's going to be actually recognized for. And what he's recognized for has been the despair 
on us as well. I mean, over 300,000 lives have been lost. Those are a whole lot of family members grieving for that loss. So, you know, we're talking, we're talking millions of people grieving for their loss. And that's what he's recognized for. That's, that's the honor that he's going to go out with. So it's not honor. It's, you know, it's the opposite of honor. But it's how, it's what he will be recognized for. And so what's coming down on him is the strength of all those people who have lost their loved ones, all those people who were, um, also it's going to be people that were loyal to him I'm getting. Wow. Okay. So this is, even though I was focusing in just on him, uh, this will be part of his administration, whoever helped him do this as well. Hmm. And then the change is going to come in, and it's moving towards this way. You can see directionally. And, but, the, but it's going to take, because this card is often, um, well, it can be a long time, but it's not necessarily as long as like the other card, the one, what is it, like... Um, it's like long way or something like that in the other little deck that I use. So, but this card, it just is has him going. Uh, like this is this is the journey for him. Uh, it will be imprisonment. This can also be like a soul journey. This can be. Um, it can also be like any type of transportation, like travel. Um, so I think that the repercussion for him is that he, he'll, if he's not locked up, he won't be able to leave the United States. But I think he will be locked up. This is a legal issue that confines him and restriction, re restricts him or at least locks him up. And, like I said, people that who helped support him to do that. And it will cause big change in his life and take him in a trajectory that he never planned on. That's, that's what I'm getting primarily with him. Okay, so let's move on to um, Mr. Pence. Mr. Fly-on-the-head dude. Ugh. Okay, Mike Pence. What will the repercussions be for Mike Pence? Okay, he's going to battle. Going to have big, big changes for him. Okay. Interesting. Doesn't look like it's going to go as bad for him. But we have the high priestess reversed. I'm um, ah, I get it. He's not going to keep quiet. He's going to spill the beans. He's going to flip. He's going to flip. So. So with the high priestess reversed, that, that has us in that area of secrets. And, um, but then again, this is the repercussions on Mike Pence. So he'll be betrayed. So Mike Pence, so Trump is going to try and, of course, geez, do we need tarot for this? <laughs> we don't need any divination system to tell us. Trump will throw Pence under the bus. And that will be his betrayal. So uh, it looks to me like Pence will turn around and, and step in with his willpower and go, hey, wait a minute. And maybe he'll spill the beans about money that's been made off of the coronavirus to Trump. 
and his family and anyone else, maybe. But anyway, the rest of it is basically just, you know, it's going to be struggle and a fight. And then, and then he's going to be like, oh my goodness, I got to do something. And he's going to, he's going to, you know, charge forward quickly. And so the repercussion onto Pence will be a really big um, change for him. Struggle and big change and, and uh, betrayal. And then he's going to flip is what I'm, what I think. That's what it looks like to me. So let me use the kipper, this other little kipper deck, and we'll see repercussions to Mike Pence. <laughs> oh my goodness! <gasps> so it's the same imprisonment card, but from a different deck. So whatever he does to try to, you know, finagle himself out from this, it's not going to work. Oh my goodness! And sorrow. This is like the oh my oh my god card in the deck. Yeah, because he worked on it, but he's going to work to try to get out from under it. So Mike Pence, and there we go with more money and more gifts. Yeah. Okay, so the repercussions on to Mike Pence are, um, of course, you know, imprisonment or at least at least being confined for some point. But I think I think yeah, crimes against humanity. And then he's going to be very, very, very sorry he ever got himself involved in this. I mean, this is the card of just major, major misery. It, but you look to the cards that, um, you know, that, that are nearby always with, well, with any divination system. I think they all influence each other, but especially with Kipper and the Lunaman. So... So anyway, he's going to be really stressed out because he could be locked up. And it's because of the work that he's done on it. You know, he was in charge of the coronavirus task force. It was put under his... Um, you know, his workload. So, and then again, here we are with the gifts. The gifts that came from, like he knows, he knows the plan that was put in place to, to, uh, to make money off of it. And he's going to talk about that. And that is going to cause a lot of problems for him. So he's going to be, he's going to be in that same just big mess that the Trump's in. And they're, uh, it looks to me like they're both going to be uh, locked up. Okay, so let me ask, so in my next question, so with the yes and no questions, um, I shuffled this little deck already. And with this, with the Learn Mind, there there are 36 cards, but I pulled out the yes and no cards only because there's about, so it's like 20 or so um, yes and no cards combined, and then there's 16 cards that are just neutral, and I figured, you know, why, 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 <laughs> why have those in there? So, yes or no, will there be charges against Trump and Pence, or it could be either one, for crimes against humanity for this? Yes, that's it right there. So one or both of them. Okay, the next question with this little deck that's already shuffled. Um, for the Trump administration and especially Stephen Miller, will, the, will, the, will there be crimes against humanity charges for the children in the camps and the family separations? Ooh, that's a no. But this one's a yes. So maybe I've combined too many people. Uh, so here, let's do it this way. Instead of the Trump administration, uh, will there be charges against Donald John Trump for children in the camps and family separations? And I'll leave still Stephen Miller out of it for another date because I'm going to do a whole reading just on him and his karma. I have his natal chart. Okay, so Donald John Trump, will there be charges against humanity brought against you because of the family separations? That's a yes. Okay. 
So there's a perfect example of why we need to ask, you know, questions that are very concise and probably just to one person only. <laughs> okay. This next question was for Alexis. She wanted to know, was there any spraying of the virus in the USA? Yikes. That's a yes. Whoa. Oh my God, that's really scary. I don't know who could do that or who would have done it. I'm... She had a question like, was it the KKK or was it anyone else? And I, you know, it, it would take, well, let's do it this way. So those are both yes cards. Um, let me just grab the rest of the deck, put it all together, shuffle it. Let's figure out, let me see if I can figure out who, who would have done that. That's the most despicable thing in the world. Who's so? Who did it? Who's who did the spraying? That's the delivery system. That would be like the prescription, I suppose. And then over the roads, or oh, maybe it was done. Some man with the toxins. Yeah, let me keep going. Well, let's just do it this way. Who? Those are homes. Someone who cared about what? Cared about the health. This has to do with foreign from another country, but how could they get in to, to do something like that? You know what I mean? I don't I don't know that Chinese or Russian planes can go dropping things on USA. I don't know about that. But this 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 is a this is a foreign agreement. This is a toxin. This is a man from a foreign country. This would be a partnership. So this would be like the delivery, delivery of a, um, maybe this has to do with the whole, um, the whole, the whole, you know, well, it would be a prescription. This would be a, um, um, you know, vaccine or some type of remedy that would help with um, with anyone that got it. So I well, let's see. Something small and over the. Um, Something small, but a network. Something small. Who would it, who would it be? Somebody, oh my goodness. Somebody who wanted to deliver. Somebody who wanted to, it's like affect the health of our nation, like deliver this could be our homeland, like deliver it to our homeland, who um, who cared to, oh goodness, I'm at a loss here, honestly, you guys. 
I think I have to ask it in a different way. Um, let's go back to the yes or no. Let, let me use this little deck here. I mean, I have some clues there, but I kind of no, don't want to say for sure. Okay, so yes or no was Trump in on this. Did Trump know anything about this? Was he in on it? Because we had the partnership, the ring there. Does Donald John Trump know about this at all? And was he? Did he have a part in it? That's a yes. Okay. Did it have to do with? Did it come from another country? Did the? Did the actual? Did the actual prescription, like virus delivery of the virus, did it come from another country? I mean, because, you know, we're, we're talking like really dark, you know, like we're in that realm of money laundering, things like that. I mean... Um, what is it that Sarah Kinsinger calls it? Ken Kinsinger, um, what does she call it? The the um, transnational crime syndicate uh, disguised as our government. Where did where would he have? Who was who who? Let's see. Was it another country involved with Trump? That's yes. Wow. Okay. Was it Russia? You know, and Trump wouldn't care because, you know, he can get he can get what I mean, he got over the virus with everything that was available to him to, you know, all the remedies and antibodies and remdesivir, all of that. And, you know, of course, we don't get things like that. So was it Russia? Yes. Okay. Was it China? Maybe it came over on one of those tankers from uh, Elaine Chow's company was was China involved in it yeah this is really dark no that's interesting so like how, I don't even know how, like how they would make something like that and then make it available to spray But if anybody could um, figure out how to do stuff like that, it's, it's, it's people like Putin because, I mean, we all know he, uh, he's like the poison master. And he's also the, um, you know, the microwave sound torture master. God, that guy's dark. Okay, well, I'm thoroughly disgusted, and I'm going to stop this reading. <laughs> okay. Oh, take care, you guys. Bye.